<laughs> okay, everyone, so... <clears throat> we... <sighs> we did a little bit of work last time, um, just on the last tutorial of creating this video, oh, this file in a C format. Now, when I hit run, we all know what's going to happen, but it's going to run the exact same as before. But I'm going to change it to next executable. Now, we wait. Yeah, it's attempting to encode the payload with one iterations of x86, Shikata, GA, and all that. Um. Now, probably shouldn't have worried with this. Um, but. Yeah, we've got the two files here, so I'm going to get rid of this test.txt somehow. Keep on forgetting, they don't like just doing delete. There we go. That's gone. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the exact same command. So I'm going to change this one back to C. I'm going to change this to C as well. Now. I can just hit enter and it will encode the payload the same as it did up here. But what you what we've got is we know the encoder. It's the Shikata GA and all that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to run dash e for encoder and x86 forward slash Shikata underscore GA underscore NAI then just hit enter now we wait now it's only found one compatible encoder and it's attempting to encode it it's good and as we see we've got the file back here so it's encoded this way we by doing this we can avoid uh, virus detection because a lot of these payloads have been out for a long time and people have figured at some point we've got to do something smart and we're going to block them. We're going to stop people from using them to get into our system. So what we do with an encoder is we change it around and we put it in a format that they can't read. Now, before Kali, there was um, let me just wait, payload... As we can see, the utility has been depreciated. Wow. Um, and there was also encode. Now, as you can see, both of them have been depreciated and they've been replaced with venom. So, I clear that arm. So, yeah, we've got Metasploit Framework Venom Help. And what we need to do is we've we see that there's encoders. What we need to do is we need to find them. So, Metasploit Venom. Well, I can't believe I. Now, we need to search the list for it. And as we can see here, there's encoders. Now, I couldn't find any tutorials on Metasploit Venom, so I'm going on. Metasploit, like I'm learning all this stuff through uh, payload and encode. So I'm a bit unsure on how exactly to do all this stuff at times. But as we can see here, we've got the 80, x86 Shikata GA. And I, now, again, that's an excellent one because, well, it's just an excellent rank arm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Instead of using this encoder, we're going to do something probably a bit stupid. We're going to search for a normal one. So x86 forward slash, um, I'm going to get this one, call for d word. God, I don't know who came up with this one, but... Now we run and we'll see what happens. Now I expect it will go off without a hitch, but tempting call cool payload. Yep, saved as tmp.txt. So 
Oop. keep on forgetting that I've got everything in here. And yeah, so here it is. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to delete this again and I'm going to redo it in the one before the. Oh, I'm doing the Shikata one. Just keep them both in the same encoding file. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, just make sure that you got both of the files and you're ready to go for the next one. And we'll see where we go. See you next time. And uh, like and subscribe if you can. Otherwise, bye.